people with fine natural hair, if we were to listen to all of the different lies and stereotypes and beauty ideals that mainstream media as well as social media tries to sell our way, we would be thinking that our fine natural hair can never ever be beautiful. We know that that's a lie. If you're curious to learn exactly how you can make your fine natural strands look as beautiful and as thick as possible, then definitely keep watching for these seven different ways and styles to style your hair in a way that will make it look even thicker than it already is. Welcome back to Fine Natural Hair Rocks, where your search for the very best in solid natural hair, beauty, and lifestyle advice stops. Girlfriend, I always had fine hair. When I was relaxing my hair, I had fine relaxed hair. And when I decided to go natural, now I have fine natural hair. Fine hair has literally always been a part of my life. Trust and believe me when I say that I struggled when it came to my fine natural hair. I struggled with how to learn to grow it, maintain it, and even style it just like you if you're watching this video. After 12 plus years of research and trying to figure out exactly how to, you know, wear the hair that's naturally coming out of my scalp, <laughs> I actually decided to create this video, which is the video that I wish that I had access to when I had gone natural 12 years ago. So if you're interested in this content, then definitely watch all the way to the end because trust and believe this is a really, really good video. If you've been enjoying my fine natural hair and beauty videos, go ahead and hit up that like button, smash the subscribe button, and also hit up the notification bell so that you can be notified every single time I post a new video, which is usually on Sundays. Here on Fine Natural Hair Rocks, you might have noticed that I say the word curl friends quite often. I call my viewers, my audience, my subscribers, curl friends, and I'm actually on a quest to help 100,000 curl friends reach their fine natural hair goals. So definitely go ahead and subscribe because the more the merrier. Tip number one is that you're actually going to want to use bigger sections when you're installing your braids and your twist outs onto your fine natural hair. Now I personally like to apply my braid outs and my twist outs to blown straight natural hair um, just because you can take advantage of the volume of the, the area, the, the fact that like it's blown out, more air and more space is able to get into those strands, making it appear bigger than it actually is. Now the reason why this tip is to use larger sections when you're using your braids and your twists for your braid outs and twist outs is because it's actually going to allow your hair to not take on that scalpy look that sometimes it can take on if you, you have fine hair that's also dense too. So I've actually um, collected a bunch of different videos right here from Fine Natural Hair Rocks that you can check out to see exactly how I utilize these tips when I'm doing my styles. And those videos are gonna be located in the description box, either down below or to the side. YouTube has been changing things up lately, so I'm not quite sure where the description box might land for you, but um, you let me know in the comment section down below. I think that's still there. <laughs> let me know in the comment section. Tip number two, if you're somebody who doesn't have the Revere um, or you don't like to blow out your strands, is to go ahead and use frizz to your advantage. So when our hair is in its natural state, when it's super curly and it's frizzy, frizz actually creates the illusion of thicker strands. So if you've got fine strands, you've got fine curly hair, you're actually at an advantage to those who don't have fine curly hair because your fine strands are gonna be able to frizz up and create that illusion that I've been talking about. Number three on the list is to go ahead and fluff your roots. So when you are fluffing out your strands, you don't wanna fluff out the ends of the, the style because that's going to really mess the curl up. It's gonna mess the look up and you really wanna preserve as much definition as possible, but also make that definition look thick. That sounds a little contrary to, you know, even saying it, it sounds like it's contradicting itself, but it's actually possible. Cause what you do is you literally take your fingers and you go into the roots itself and kind of like fluff out your roots and leave the curl intact at the end of it. I actually show exactly what I mean about this in my twist and curl tutorial, which is also going to be located in the description box um, for you to go and hit up that link if you're interested in seeing how I did that. Number four on the list is to take advantage of the volume 
that you get from blowouts. So blowouts are very tricky because if you install a blowout incorrectly, you can definitely cause a lot more damage to your fine natural strands instead of what we're going for, which is styling options. So I do recommend using the Revere. Now the Revere is quite expensive. I do have a Curl Fern Crew discount code that's available in the description box as well. Um, but if you don't have the Revere, you can certainly use other ways to stretch your hair that are more costly and economical as well. Now, once you have blown out your strands, you can apply a twist out to those strands and then instead of just wearing your hair say down in the twist out, you can wear it in like a side bun, maybe you can do two buns, um, you know, leave a little bang down to frame your face um, and take advantage of the space, the volume that's within those blown out strands to really puff out the curls on each side. So if you're a visual person, I actually did a recent sultry Valentine's Day look with exactly everything that I'm talking about. And that video tutorial as well will be located in the description box. Curlfriend, our 2000 subscriber giveaway is now complete. Thank you so much to all of you who entered the giveaway. Thank you so much for your support over the years. Just thank you so much. Honestly, Fine Natural Hair Rocks could not be here on YouTube. It could not be what it is today without your support. Now, without further ado, drum roll, please. <laughs> Our three winners for the Yugo Natural Head Wrap, which is what I'm wearing right now. You don't have to choose this one. You do have access to the entire website to choose whatever head wrap you want. Um, our three winners for this giveaway is number one, love yourself, number two, PSR 076, and number three, Kirsten W. Curl friends, go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below. Send me an email at hello at finenaturalhairrocks.com and I will give you all the details on how to get your prizes out to you ASAP. Congratulations to the winner. If you are not a winner today, no worries. There are definitely gonna be more giveaways coming right here on Fine Natural Hair Rocks as we inch our way forward to 100,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. Let's just jump back into these tips. Number five is related to a poll that I had recently put into the community tab, and that was asking whether or not you actually are um, aware of curl form formers. Now, back in the day, I actually installed waveformers onto my hair, and that video is also gonna be available in the description box, so definitely check that out if you're interested. But this particular tip is related to installing different tools on your hair, so waveformers, curl formers, perm rods, etc. Waveformers, curl formers, perm rods, those types of things, really take advantage of that if you are trying to elevate your curls, create more thickness, because those items are going to not only give you an elongated look, but it's also going to give you a look that can easily be um, manipulated to make your strands appear even thicker and more voluminous than they actually are. Number six is to try out the wash and go. Yes, so many of us try to avoid the wash and go. We feel like we don't have wash and go hair. We feel like we can't handle it. But the truth of the matter is a good wash and go will really make your strands look as thick as possible. Of course, just like the other six tips, sorry, just like the other, yeah, just, just like the other five tips, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and leave all of that information in the description box so you can see exactly how I was able to fluff out the roots of my wash and go, maintain the definition of my wash and go, and really have my strands looking as thick and as voluminous as possible. Number seven that applies to all of the tips that I just said is to use as little product as possible. Less truly is more when it comes to fine natural hair. If you wanna see this video in action, I actually have a really fantastic how to braid out fine natural hair tutorial. And of course, that's also gonna be kept and left as a link for you to check out in the description box. Girlfriend, are you interested in just diving a little bit deeper into your specific hair concerns so that your fine natural hair can get as long and as strong and as healthy as possible? Do you want to actually receive straight to your inbox product recommendations that will really help your fine natural hair thrive and grow in the ways that you've always imagined? If that sounds like you, then definitely go ahead and hit up the link right here so that you can sign up for the Fine Natural Hair Rocks free newsletter today. 
Here on Find Natural Hair Rocks, your personal information is always kept private and confidential, and your information will literally only be used to send you the information you desire, which is to grow out your long and strong Find Natural hair as healthy and as quickly as possible. <laughs> Girlfriend, if you like this video, go ahead and hit up the like button if you haven't hit it up already. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed already. And share this video with another girlfriend who you know could really benefit from solid, fine natural hair, beauty, and lifestyle advice. You asked for it, so I'm delivering. <laughs> In our latest community post, I actually asked you which collection you wanted to see a review and first impressions on first. And by popular demand, you and the rest of the Curlfriend crew wanted to see this line right here. So this is actually the Camille Rose Black Castor Oil and Shea Bay line. This is their new collection. Mine looks a little bit different because it's a collector's edition item that was only released for Black History Month. So you guys asked for it, I am definitely delivering it. Stay tuned to our next video, which will be dropping on Sunday, where I not only use the products, but I also share exactly how I felt after using them for the very first time. In the meantime, go ahead and check out these videos next for even more fine natural hair styling and hair care videos. Thank you so much for watching, girlfriend. I will see you in the next video on Sunday. Bye.